Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So today I thought it'd be a good idea, I guess, uh, to talk about Jeffrey McConney. So who is Jeffrey McConney? So he is the current, he's a senior vice president and controller for Trump Organization. And he's been that for a very, very long time. And Alan Weiselberg uh, hired him, I guess, when uh, in the 90s, Weiselberg was promoted to a vice president or senior vice president or whatever he's promoted to. Then he named uh, Jeffrey McConney, who he may have hired a year or two or three sooner than that. Uh, into the company, but that's when he named him as the controller. So let's see what happens for Jeffrey McConney. You know, he's uh, testified in front of the uh, special grand jury. That's important. Okay, so here's what I can find out, and it's not very much, about Jeffrey S. McConney, who's a senior vice president and controller of Trump Organization, which consists of around 500 uh, privately held uh, companies. Um, as SVP controller, he has now already testified to the special grand jury. Presumably, um, this gives him some, uh, Jeffrey, some immunity in the proceedings. Now, uh, there doesn't seem to be public information acknowledging McConaughey's birth date. So, uh, working the years back from the published dates of when he began college and when his first employment date of 1987 at the Trump Organization, here are the results in speculation. Uh, at a minimum, this reveals a range of dates for estimation of his approximate ages at various pivot points um, in his life. So 1954, I guess, <laughs> uh, if we start working back from his published college start date of 1973, then possibly this is the year he, McConaughey, was born, which would make him a brown 67 years old today in 2021. 1960, assuming he began his elementary school education at six years old, then uh, six years from 1954 determines that uh, 1960 is a year he may have begun uh, first grade. Uh, 1972, logically it follows that after 12 years of primary education this year, 1972, is when he may have graduated from high school, although you don't know where. Um, if he started college within a year after graduating high school, then 1973, which is the published date he began attendance at City University of New York, uh, Baruch College makes sense. And then 1978, which is also public record, shows that after five years, he graduated with a bachelor's degree in business administration with a focus on accounting and finance. So what he did for a career for the nine or so years before beginning work at Trump Org is not public record. So 1978 till when he started there, which is 1987, who knows. But in 1987, this is the published year that Alan Weiselberg hired McConnell at the Trump Organization. Uh, Donald Trump would have been about 40 at that time. So in the 1990s, at some point during the 34 years after 1987, in the 1990s, uh, when I, Alan Weiselberg became a, a senior vice president, he named McConney as controller. So he'd been there for a few years and uh, McConaughey had been with the company for a few years and became named controller when Wazelberg became SVP. And uh, eventually McConaughey became a senior vice president. So his current title is senior vice president slash controller Trump organization, a conglomeration of approximately 500 companies. 2021, McConaughey may be the first employee of 45's company to formally testify, and it's a sign that prosecutors have burrowed deep into the Trump Organization's finances. Roughly, the hierarchical chart for the organization may be owner Donald Trump, chief financial officer Alan Weiselberg, and then controller Jeffrey McConaughey. So, a good person to, um, to talk to, I would guess. So, this is the Radiant Rider weight Tarot. This is U.S. Game Systems. And I love these cards. They're they're called Radiant because the colors in them, you'll see, they actually kind of radiate from the center out, and they're brilliant colors. So that's the deal. The, the same uh, art uh, of the regular Rider weight cards, but they're colored a little differently uh, in this case. So um, I'll show you the cards. They're really nice. I mean, they're the traditional um, symbolism that you expect. Just the coloring is uh, a little... Uh, a lot more nuanced as a matter of fact with this radiant um, situation where the color just kind of emanates out from the center this is a good one to look at for that I mean you can see that it's a lighter color here and it just radiates out and all the colors are very vibrant vibrant it's beautiful so love the cards 
Hopefully you do too. I think they show up really well on the camera. And I just do this little uh, situation of spreading the cards out like this uh, so that you can get a chance to look at them. Most people like to see what all the cards look like. And uh, if you're working with someone, it's maybe a good idea to let them uh, work with the cards this way just to kind of get their energy uh, into the cards. And, uh, and then you can start uh, deciding what they mean for them. So Jeffrey McConey, Jeffrey McConey, there's not much about this fella. I mean, um, I had to do some reverse engineering from the dates he was hired by Trump Org to the date he began and finished um, uh, college. Those are the only dates that seem to be published anywhere that I could easily find. You know, I'm not a, a detective, so what the heck. But uh, from those dates, I've tried to uh, determine um, when he was born um, and, and put some, some numbers to some pivot points in his life. I mean, just very sketchy stuff I've got here. But the deal is that he is going to, uh, or has already, as a matter of fact, testified to the special grand jury, uh, which is pretty amazing. I think he's the first actual official Trump employee to do that. So let's see what he told the special grand jury. So the question will be today, Jeffrey McConey, what did you reveal to the special grand jury? I guess we can't say what, because how would the cards tell us specifically what? We could say, did you reveal um, damning information? Did you reveal uh, perilous information uh, for Trump and Weiselberg uh, to the special grand jury? Did you reveal uh, dangerous information for Trump and Weiselberg to the special grand jury? And... Will the special grand jury use that information to bring uh, Trump to justice? That'll be the last part of this. It'll be a full Celtic cross. So the first part will be, uh, was there information that he revealed? The second part will be, will it be used? I like that. Kind of a messy uh, spread. That's what we use. We got uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So these, this will be the first six cards of the uh, Celtic cross. And the first card, the signifier for the question, for the question, uh, did Jeffrey McConney um, reveal damning information to the special grand jury uh, regarding uh, Trump uh, work? Signifier for that is, well, the magician. So what is the magician? The magician is uh, someone who has all the tools available to him, uh, all the aces, you could say, of the um, of the cards of the tarot cards, he's got the uh, sword, he's got the wand, he's got the cup, he's got pentacles, and he's got the power to use them. So, uh, and that's who you want to be. You want to be the fella if you're, you're trying to uh, make your life uh, work out for you. You want to be the guy who has all these tools available. So, you could say it looks like as a signifier. When I asked, uh, does he have, did he reveal information? Yeah, it looks like he has the information. He's got everything. Wow. So, what's the challenge to that? The challenge to um, him revealing everything he knows is, oh, oh my God, death. So death is the end, end, end of a cycle. I mean, what more do you have to say? Uh, he had information, and the challenge to giving that information, if he knows that it means phew, the end. Wow. The um, basis of this reading, then, is the Five of Pentacles being left out in the cold. And I would say that that's where he did not want to be left out in the cold, or he was left out in the cold. The past to this reading, then, is the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is, is the fellow who's in charge of all the value. And what else is the controller? If not, he's the fellow who's in charge of all the money of the corporation. He determines what's going to get paid, if the billing is correct or not. That, that's part of the controller's job. And uh, how uh, the money's going to go, wherever it's going to go. Man, this is a very on-point reading. In the sky for this reading, then, oof is a seven of wands. So his aim is to to reveal uh, the truths that he has to uh, without revealing those that he doesn't have to. So this uh, seven of, of swords is typically like the thief card. Um, but uh, this is someone, uh, swords for me are always truth, justice, and rules. And so for me, this is McConaughey taking the truth that uh, he has uh, to the game and leaving the ones that he can leave behind. Um, that would be in his DNA. I think, actually, to behave that way. And the likely outcome of this first part of this Celtic cross is a big offer of value, and that's what he's bringing. He's bringing what he has to the table. Wow. Easy. So let's see about the last part of this, um, this Celtic cross, the self. So this card right here will be the self, the self of Jeffrey, but I want to know, 
it's not the selfish Jeffrey. I'm, I've messed that up. This is going to be the question. Will um, this information be used to uh, the, the uh, detriment of Donald Trump? The self of that question is the fool, man. It's the beginning of a journey. The fool is always the beginning of a journey. You're starting off on a trip. You're confident. You've got everything you need. You've got some inspiration and a conscience. And uh, so you, the self of the question as to whether the information will be used is, yeah, it's the beginning of that uh, journey. Um, the environment that that's in then is victory. Wow. The beginnings of the journey in victory. The six of wands is always a uh, victory of planning, motion, action. So yeah, this beginning of this journey is in the environment of victory, man. Um, I would now the, um, hopes and the fears for this then, ah, fears, broken heart. So, I mean, the three of, of, of swords is a broken heart, it is, uh, you know, simple. I mean, it's, it's obvious. Ugh. And then the likely outcome of all of this is the chariot things moving along, usually rapidly. So that was a quick and easy uh, reveal on, um, on him. Let's just talk about it real quickly. So the signifier for the question, does he have information to reveal? Yes. He's got a table full of all kinds of information to reveal. And what was it challenged by? It's challenged by death, the end of a cycle. The basis of the reading was being left out in the cold. I don't think uh, Jeffrey McConnell wants to be left out in the cold. So he took the deal he could get. He had been the king of pentacles, the king. I mean, the controller is the fellow who's paying the bills of the corporation. In the sky for that was to it was the thief in the night. So I think he stole as many of those truths away from this company and gave them up, but not the ones that he didn't have to. Mm. Uh, the likely outcome was that yes, this would be a great big offer. Who would it be an offer to? It'd be an offer to the authorities. This is their uh, step off onto this uh, new journey, confident with the, that they have everything that they need and a clear conscience about it. Uh, they're in the environment of a uh, pending victory. The hopes and the fears. The fears. Uh, would be for uh, the justice uh, to not to have a victory. But for me, this was the broken heart of Jeffrey McConnell, McConnie, Jeffrey McConnie. And then the likely outcome, of course, ends up with things moving along. Man. So I guess that couldn't be any clearer. I mean, uh, he started off as the magician with everything he needed to, to, to do what he has to do. And uh, the, sign the challenge to that was that this is the end, 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 death of a cycle. Uh, it all just revealed that. Uh, then for the, uh, for the authorities, they're starting off on this journey uh, very confident with what they have. They're, uh, they, they're in the environment of having a victory. Um, there's going to be broken hearts here. And uh, so that's inevitable. And things are moving along with this chariot just like they should be. Man, that's, that's something else. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.